Hey everyone, my name is Benji and this is my mini synth series where I talk about my journey in learning PCB design and electronics through synthesizer modules. For this module, I wanted to see how much I could fit in a small footprint. The width of Euro rack modules are typically measured through HP or horizontal pitch. The smallest module I've managed to design so far has been 4 HP. This time, since I already know how to work with tiny SMT components, I wanted to see what I could fit inside a 2 HP module. That's 10 millimeters. First, let's talk about the circuit. I wanted to start with something simple. An LFO is always useful, so I looked up some references and came up with this simple triangle wave LFO. I wanted to be able to switch between two time ranges, one significantly longer than the other. This was done by switching between two sizes of capacitors. I also like it because it features a bipolar LED which I've never used before. I tried it out on a breadboard first. Here, I verified my circuit design decisions. I found out that it will only work with bipolar capacitors too, which thankfully I had in stock. I then built a perf board prototype. I didn't have bipolar LEDs yet when I built this one, so I used two regular LEDs wired in parallel. I used this on-on switch to switch between the two capacitors. I did the layout for this panel using my Euro Panel Maker library for OpenSCAD that is available on GitHub. I was satisfied with how the perfboard prototype turned out, so I started to design the PCB. I used KiCad for my design. I've already been drawing and editing my schematic as I go, so it was pretty easy to start working on the PCB layout. I always use the error checking features within KiCad to make sure I didn't miss anything. For this one though, since I was trying to cram everything within a 2HP module. I had to tell KiCad to ignore some checks, especially these ones for retention tabs on the pot. After I finished the PCB, I sent my files over to PCBWay for printing. I'd like to take this time to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. They've been supporting this series of synth modules from the very beginning. I make all of my files for the Minisynth series available through their share project site so you can order the boards from them directly. After a couple of days of waiting, version 1.0 finally arrived. For this build, I tried their matte black solder mask with gold immersion plating. I really like how this combo looks. As soon as I started building, I found out some mistakes in my design. First, I used the wrong footprint for the toggle switches. I was supposed to use single pole switches but instead I used the footprint for double. Good thing I had some double poles in stock so I was still able to build it. It just sits a bit wider than the actual module itself. I also swapped the position of the two pots by accident. The duration pot now controls range and the range pot controls duration. But those are really easy fixes. Everything else worked. The knobs work just fine. The switch between long and short time ranges works. My first try with bipolar LEDs also went well. Apparently, the divide between the two internal LEDs was a bit obvious. So maybe putting the LED behind a diffuser would look even better. Anyway, I went back to KiCad to fix my minor mistakes and then sent the files back to PCBWay who was kind enough to do a second batch of PCBs for me. This time, I used their white solder mask for the front panel. I really like how this board turned out. One tiny mistake that I did with the new batch of front panels though is that I forgot to tell PCB way to remove these tracking numbers. But the module itself worked as expected. The footprint of the toggle switch is now correct. And the positions of the two pots are also okay now. It fits perfectly within a 2 HP space. At first, I was worried about the retention arms from the pots, but if you squeeze them into the board, they sit flush with the edges. I also took the time to measure the longest duration my current setup can do. It's around 5 minutes for one cycle, and this is using only a 1 microfarad capacitor. 
you should be able to get even longer cycles with a bigger cap. I left the footprints of the caps as through holes so it should be easier to replace them with larger or smaller ones if you want. Just make sure to use bipolar caps. There's not much more to talk about in terms of features. It is basically a triangle wave LFO with rate and depth controls. I like to plug a bunch of them through this CV mixer I made to mix the unsynchronized waveforms and come up with some sort of random LFO. Thank you so much for watching. Let me leave you with this quick jam with the mini LFO. Hope to see you in the next video.